to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here which is my back to school makeup look now let me start off by saying that I have not been back to school for like nearly 10 years which is just wow okay yeah nearly 10 years that's crazy but I did get a couple of requests from you guys asking if I was going to be doing a back to school makeup look so this look right here like it is a little more amped and glam than I would usually do for school because let's face it not everybody has time in the mornings to do their face up. For me personally, waking up before school and getting to do my makeup was like my favorite part of the day. I don't know. I feel like for the first day back at school or the first week or whatever, if you really want to, you know, stunt on these, <laughs> then this is the kind of look you probably would want to wear. Just something really simple yet glam and glowy. I also just wanted to let you guys know that everything I used throughout this video was in fact drugstore. I understand the struggle of being a student on a budget and not having the money to buy, you know, all the fancy high-end makeup but let me just say you don't have to have fancy high-end makeup to look good so if you're on a budget I got you I feel you I get you and uh, yeah everything I used is drugstore so if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red button below and with that being said let's get into the tutorial to start things off I'm firstly going to prime the face so I'm using this primer from the Noxa this is their pure silk skin primer of course I've done all of my skincare routine prior to filming so I've already done my like moisturizer, eye cream, all that good stuff. But priming is key, guys, because not only does it make your makeup last longer throughout the day, but it also provides that barrier between your makeup and the skin. So for foundation, I'm sure a lot of you guys could have guessed that I was gonna whip this baby out. Yes, the one, the only Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I feel like it's not only an amazing drugstore foundation, but it's just an amazing foundation overall. I love the fact that this foundation comes with a spatula because there's no messing around, just Slap it on the face and take your beauty blender, blend it out, and you're good to go. It gives the nicest finish, and yeah, obviously I'm just a little too obsessed, but you guys need to try this out. Now, I know how it be when you're in school and you stay up too late because you're doing assignments, homework, or perhaps talking to somebody, but because I have dark under eye circles, I like to correct them. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, but this is a peachy toned corrector, so it's perfect. All I do is take a swipe to each eye, and then go ahead and blend it out with an airbrush concealer brush. And I honestly just feel like this little step really makes a difference when it comes to hiding those dark under eye circles and making your eyes look nice and bright. Now for concealer, I have this baby right here. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Another Wet n Wild product. Yes, I know, but guys, this stuff is bomb. The one that I'm using is in the shade Light Medium Beige. And I love this concealer because it's so lightweight, super easy to apply, just blends out really nicely. And a lot of people have been comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but this is like a fraction of the cost. So definitely a worthy concealer to try out. A little thing that I also like to do to kind of help, you know, even everything out on the lids is take whatever is left on the blending sponge and uh, just, you know, run it over the lids and then everything is all matchy-matchy and nice and concealed. To set all of that in place, I'm gonna be taking the yellow banana shade from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all those areas that I concealed, just to make sure that they stay in place and nothing moves around. And this also does kind of brighten it a little bit, but it won't be like too intense. I still need to set the rest of my face as well. So I have here the Photo Focus Powder from Wet n Wild. My one that I'm using is in the shade Warm Beige. I kind of feel like the liquid foundation already sets itself in a way. Now this is totally optional. You don't have to do this, especially because, you know, it is just school. But because I'm extra like that, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna be taking the contour shade from the Dulce de Leche palette. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, kind of contour my jawline, my cheekbones, my nose, nothing too crazy, nothing too intense, but just a little something, something, you know. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna bronze my face, you know, make it look like you spent a lot of time outside in the sun during the summer, even if you didn't, 
this will do the trick right here. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff. It honestly applies like the name suggests, like butter. So as you can see, I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush and I'm pretty much just going to run that over my cheeks and around my hairline, make myself look nice and bronzed. So I'm not gonna be using any type of blush on my face today. Instead, I'm gonna go in with another bronzer. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. And the reason why I'm going with another bronzer is because this one has a like gold shimmery undertone to it. So if you take the slightest little bit and run it over your cheeks and pull it back towards the hairline, it gives the nicest glow to your face. And I feel like that's more complimentary than any type of blush. My favorite part in any makeup look is applying the highlighter. So I'm using this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious petals and honestly for a drugstore highlighter this stuff is the bomb i love it because you can apply it in a way so that it's super intense or you can tone it down a little bit but because you know i love to glow i'm gonna pack it on pretty heavily so i'm just applying that to the high points of my cheeks and i also like to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills a23 highlighter brush honestly that glow it just gets me every time. I'm obsessed. Anyways, onto the eyes now. I'm gonna be really quick when it comes to the eyes. What I like to do on myself personally is just rub a little bit, rub, apply a little bit of bronzer to my crease and my lower lash line. So I'm going back in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. And what I like to do is kind of just messily run that through my crease. I feel like this adds the perfect amount of definition to the eyes and you don't have to be too neat with it. Just run it through there go crazy and it looks good. And then when it comes to the bottom lash line, I still like to use the same brush, but what I do is I get the product on there, but then I pinch it and then I just run it along there. I feel like this saves time so you don't have to worry about using so many brushes. So now I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the Georgiana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Now if you guys know me, you know I love my daily falsies, the Ardell Wispies, but I feel like for school, falsies, like they just aren't necessary. So just give your lashes a curl apply some mascara and you're good to go. We're pretty much done. All that's left to do is the lip color. Now, when it comes to lips for school, I feel like you don't need no liquid lipstick, lipstick, nothing like that, because I feel like you don't want it to get all crusty and gross throughout the day. And you don't want to have to worry about it. So I feel like a gloss is the way to go. So I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I love these glosses because they're just super easy to apply. They don't have too much of an intense pigment, but there is definitely some pigment pigment to them and they just look great when applied to the lips and you don't have to worry about them throughout the day they just do their thing and if you need to apply it over the top it's easy to do so so I feel like a gloss is definitely the way to go alrighty guys this is the final look let me know what you think of it in the comments down below as you would have seen this look is really easy and simple to do but you know it's kind of amped up a little more glam if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new and you're still here at the end and you're not subscribed to my channel yet you may as well subscribe by hitting the little red button down below so you don't miss any more videos I post. As usual, I will list everything that I used in this video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.